Cachexia is a condition that's often associated with cancer, and in particular in the later stages of cancer. Patients have a loss of appetite, uh, a loss of weight, significant loss of weight, um, and they also have a loss of muscle tone which reduces their strength significantly. Up to 80% of patients with solid tumours get cachexia. A number of the oncologists I've spoken to say they've never really seen a patient, cancer patient, with advanced cancer that doesn't have cachexia. The implications of that is that patients with cachexia are unable to look after themselves, they increasingly can't perform activities of daily living, and more importantly, they're not able to undergo the types of treatments we would routinely give them to try and control their disease. The mortality rate due to the cachexia is, is, is very significant. In many ways, it, it, it would be regarded as the most serious um, side effect of cancer, if you like, because eventually you've got to stop therapy when people become so weak and emaciated that they can't stand treatment any further. So having a cure for it, or an ability to treat it, is really critical. So a number of years ago, we made a very exciting discovery, which is that a molecule called FN14, when expressed on tumours, is able to initiate this very severe wasting disease. Like so many things in science, the cachexia discovery was an accidental discovery, it was a surprise discovery, not, not, not down knocked our shoes off, so to speak, you know. Uh, when we came across it, we really were interested in making antibodies or magic bullets against a particular receptor which was found in essentially all cancers you want to look at. And this particular receptor was called FN14. So what we did is we went ahead and made what we call an antibody therapy. Um, so antibodies are molecules that the a body normally uh, the immune system uses to fight uh, disease and infection and we use that in our laboratory models and we were able to show with that antibody therapy that we could completely block the onset uh, and progression of any weight loss. Given in normal and healthy tissue the level of expression of FN14 is either very low or absent. Uh, what we would like to do with our antibody therapy is in a setting where there's cachexia present and in the um, case of cancer cachexia is actually use a therapy to be able to switch off the activation of FN14. So if you can switch it off, then we can switch off the weight loss process. The partnership between La Trobe University um, and the Olivia Newton-John Cancer Research Institute uh, is incredibly valuable because it allows the discoveries and the, the wonderful people at La Trobe University to interface with people like us who are actually dealing with patients on a day-to-day -day basis. And by doing so, we're able to bring a bridge between the science and the discovery into the clinic and hopefully improved uh, treatments for patients with cancer. Wouldn't it be absolutely thrilling to, uh, to see people recover from their cachexia? or if we treat them early enough, prevent them from getting cachexia at all. So that's part of the game too, is to get an early diagnosis for cachexia so that you can actually start treating at a very early stage. So that's where, that's where we're heading. Discoveries like this are transformative. Uh, we don't often see them. And when we do see them, we want to take them forward as quickly and as passionately as we can, and that's what we're trying to do. The notion that our findings could potentially lead in, in the not too distant future to a therapy that could really help so many people and people all around the world could benefit from our research that we're doing here at La Trobe is really, it's quite uh, mind blowing and, and it's certainly something that gets me up every morning to work and keeps us very driven and focused towards our end goal which is really you know, helping people.